Tardigrades are interesting because they're an animal species that are so small that they generally can't be seen with the naked eye. So tardigrades uh, are commonly called water bear and they are associated with a, a wide variety of environments and notably challenging environments. So they can live under conditions of extreme coldness and they can regulate their metabolism. So they're a class of, of organisms that are linked with others uh, called extremophiles. They can live in extreme environments, such as in Arctic environments. And indeed, as animals, these extremophiles can regulate their metabolism. They can slow down their metabolism to the point where they can remain in essentially suspended animation for long periods of time. Now this is uh, interesting, and in, in, personally, in a, in a number of different ways in that I was involved in a project that took molecular components of extremophiles and uh, took advantage of some of their properties by integrating extremophile molecules and biomolecules with microelectronics for sensor applications. Here at NSF, the Engineering Research Center supports a program called ATP Bio. And the goal of this is to use some of these same extremophile concepts to take tissues, including human tissues, and slow down the metabolism by placing them under freezing conditions and essentially stop biological time, stop the clock. So if we could take some of our tissue some of our valuable tissue, stop biological time and put it in a freezer, and then reanimate it. We would have a profound solution to individualized medicine and to worldwide problems involved with the transport of organs for transplantation and many, many other things. In their own way, aside from being an internet muse, have a way of painting an analogy to how we can use these concepts of extremophiles for very important societal problems.